Hello, comrades. Since the days of Marx and Engels, people have actively been spreading lies about socialism throughout the world. These lies, of course, culminated into the Red Scare, of which we leftists are still feeling the effects of to this day. We as Marxists, of course, have taken it upon ourselves to disprove and refute the lies that anti-communists have been trying to perpetuate for all these years. I myself have actually found a video which acts to perpetuate anti-communist sentiment, and I'm going to be responding to this video right now. This video is a little over a year old, but much of the sentiment of this anti-communist garbage does hold relevance today. Um, I want to address some of these idiots out there calling conservatives Nazis. I mean, a lot of them either are borderline Nazis or have a documented history of supporting white supremacists and, you know, white supremacist groups and shit. So calling American conservatives Nazis isn't exactly too far-fetched. Um... National Socialism was an offshoot of Socialism. It wasn't an offshoot of Conservatism. It was not an offshoot of Constitutional Republicanism. It was not an offshoot of Democracy. It was not an offshoot of anything but Socialism. No. Fuck off with that. Nazism did not derive itself from actual Marxian Socialism. Nazism is an ideology based solely around race. Nazis don't advocate for the liberation of the working class, the liberation of women, the right of nations to self-determination. Nazis don't want that. This is something we've witnessed both in a historical context and in the modern day. Nazis have been historically against socialism and communism. When in power, Hitler did a shit ton of things that are inherently anti-communist in nature. During his time as leader, Hitler worked to uh, dismantle German trade unions. He supported the capitalist industrialists in Germany. He told people throughout Germany that the communists and the socialists were a threat. Socialists and communists were actually the very first group of people to be admitted to the concentration camps that were being operated during the Holocaust. The name of Germany's, you know, National Socialist Party was only changed to the National Socialist Party as a means of attempting to you know, attract people into their ranks as a means of garnering support. Nazism's only goal is a utopia for white people. The American Nazi Party has even claimed on their website that the only purpose of National Socialism, i.e. Nazism, is for Aryan survival and economic and political relief for white people. They don't want to help people of color, they don't want to help LGBT people. They don't want to help disabled people. They only want to help white, straight, able-bodied people. It was an offshoot of fascism, which is in and of itself an offshoot of socialism. Dude, you just said that Nazism was only an offshoot of socialism. Then you go and say it was also an offshoot of fascism. You're dumb. Fascism is close to Nazism, yes. But fascism is in no way even close to socialism. Fascism is simply capitalism in a state of decay. Fascism is when the state utilizes violence and terror against the people of a nation, all for the sake of protecting a fucking profit, for the sake of protecting private property, rent, and other aspects of a capitalist economy, a capitalist business model. Fascism is an enemy of communism. Fascism doesn't call for the workers to have any power. It doesn't call for the development of a planned economy. Fascism is only meant to uphold capitalism. Fascist governments have historically worked to prevent workers from garnering any power or ability of resistance. You guys need to get your facts straight. Listen, Carrot Top, you're the one who needs to get their facts straight. You think fascism is based off of socialism? You think Nazis were socialist? You're the one who needs to do more research, buddy. Uh, these people are out here operating today that are trying to shout people down, they're trying to shut down uh, uh, peaceful assembly, uh, that are trying to shut down free speech. These people are the Nazis. These people are the ones that are behaving like Nazis. They're Fighting against neo-Nazis, white supremacy, and the advocating of genocide does not equate to fascism. Fascism is an inherently violent ideology promoting violence against others solely for the color of their skin, or their sexual preferences, or their religion. Fascism and neo-Nazis are people we need to fight against. These people cannot be let into power, because if they reach the level of power that they want, we'll have nothing but a fucking disaster. Behaving like socialists more specifically. 
If they were acting like socialists, they would be working towards the end of capitalist exploitation. If they were acting like socialists, they would be fighting for the liberation of women, the liberation of people of color, the liberation of LGBT individuals, the liberation of those who have unfortunately fallen victim to imperialism, the people who are out there carrying tiki torches and chanting fucking racist and anti-Semitic rhetoric are not acting like socialists. Uh, they're actively now trying to create a state enemy, uh, which is exactly what the socialists do. do. They need a hostile other, and they're trying to turn whites, they're trying to turn patriots, they're trying to turn Christians into that hostile outside other. Um, no. We're not anti-white, we're not anti-religion in the sense that we're not against people having faith. Hell, we're not even necessarily anti-patriotism. We're anti-racism, we're anti-homophobia, and we're anti-nationalism. We're against white supremacists lynching black people. We're against gay and trans people being assaulted and murdered. We're against xenophobic actions and rhetoric. Um, I got some bad news for you, man. Hey, you college kids, if you need trigger warnings, if you need safe spaces, you don't want to fight the fight that you're picking right now, okay? The only people who evidently need safe spaces are members of the alt-right and all of these other fucking neo-fascist dumb shits. See, for example, oh, I don't know, Christopher Cantwell crying like a fucking baby over people discovering that he's a Nazi and that he had a warrant for his arrest. Uh, if you think that Milo, uh, what's that gay conservative guy's name, if you think that that guy's bad, wait till people get mad enough that they start fighting back. Uh, there isn't going to be any safe spaces for you. You need to get your shit together and wise up. Oh, we will. We will have our shit together. We'll be organized in a stronger fashion. We'll be working together. We will continue to fight fascism on all levels. And besides, with all of these fucking alt-right marches going on, we've seen how tough a lot of these white supremacist fucknuts actually are. See again Christopher Cantwell weeping, or see the kid who ran away from anti-fascist activists begging them not to hurt him. The left will be fine. It's the right-wing idiots who don't want to make this go any further. We have to keep trying to educate people on what socialism actually is, and try to eliminate all of this idiocy perpetuated by all of this Cold War era bullshit and right-wing lies. Socialism is not fascism. Socialism aims to help the working class and all of those who have fallen victim to capitalist oppression. Fascism only intensifies the capitalist oppression. I'm Jimmy Casual. Fuck you and bye.